you, the aluminum ones come in a variety of colors. Some are darker, copper colored, than others, some are lighter than this, some are darker. Um, they're considered aluminum. Uh, it's part of, this came out in the 50s. But if you do any kind of research on regular copper molds, they actually were becoming popular in Victorian times. They started off with just regular tin molds, but when they started with copper around them, that was considered elegant. And everybody loved to have, you know, it made you look rich to have copper. Usually they took and lined the inside with tin. And this little guy, you could put this in the oven and bake a little cake on him. Um, our esteemed vice president was telling me, you could probably bake a cake in this too because it's 8,000 degrees? 800 degrees to melt aluminum. So it's not going to melt. Um, but for the most part, in Victorian times, they were started off, for, they used aspen, which is a, a type of a gelatin, usually a meat product, and they made specialty molds and had these gorgeous designer things for their elegant dinner parties. And then as things progressed, we get into the 50s and Jell-O becomes extremely popular and we have to have our Jell-O molds. And believe it or not, they're coming back. Jell-O is becoming popular again. For a while there, it, in the 70s, you could put just about anything in Jell-O, which including, you know, um, carrots and celery and olives and fruits and you know, the fruits and the vegetables, yes, but you know, so uh, the 50s Jello hit its heyday, 50s, 60s, early 70s, it had kind of gone downhill and it's actually making a resurgence now. So these are actually very highly sought after now. So if you've got some, you know, put them back out. Put them up. The, uh, the, some of the websites I've seen have suggested some of the more elaborate molds that make, a, they call them uh, strawberry bud molds. You put a candle in the middle and it makes a centerpiece. You know, so people are using So this is part of, part of my collection and just a little bit about jello molds. Thank you. John? I know you got something, John. <laughs> you always 